redeemed. You must say so. Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. One very important truth in scripture is to declare or to say so in accordance to what God has done for us. So in the verse that we just read in Psalm 107 verse 2, the psalmist says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Because you are redeemed, because you have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus, say so, declare it, make it known. First of all, it's an expression of our gratitude. We are letting, we are boasting about what God has done for us. We are uh, expressing our gratitude. We are acknowledging that God, you've done this for me and I'm thankful for it. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Secondly, it's very important for us to say so, so that the enemy knows that we know what is ours. We need to let the enemy know, I know the facts, I know the truth, I know that I'm redeemed. The devil has no more claim over me. Uh, every lawless deed has been broken. I've been redeemed from aimless conduct that has been handed down to me. I've been redeemed from the powers of darkness. I've been redeemed from this present evil age. I am the redeemed of the Lord and I say so. The Bible tells us to do that and to affirm that uh, we believe in our redemption, that it is a reality and that we walk in it. We are expecting it to be a, a, a reality in our everyday life experience because God has done it for us to the price that was paid on the cross 2,000 years ago. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Take time to affirm every day, if possible, to affirm, to thank God for your redemption and to affirm, to declare that you know your redemption. The very things we've covered this week, you begin to say so. You begin to say that it's yours personally. It's not just good uh, theology in the Bible. It's not just truth that is hidden there but it's something you have that you possess because you are in Christ and in Him, you have redemption through His blood. Say so. Say that the powers of darkness have no claim over you. Say so. Say that the oh, you have been redeemed from this present age, that lawless deeds will no longer control you. Say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your redemption. And I pray, God, that we will affirm, we will say so. We will announce and declare what you've done for us to the price you paid on the cross. We thank you for the redemption we have in you through your blood. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.